one day old. I can't get in there right now. What are you doing inside the trampoline, Peach? I <laughs> you see what he's doing in here. You're gonna go jump with her? You gonna go jump with him? Jump with her, not him. I think it's a boy. Why? Oh, he's been in the well. He's so silly. Oh, hey, Opal, you gotta take your boots off. Oh, we haven't looked at her tail in a while. I'll take my Whoa! Boots. She's gonna get my face. Um, Can you get her Okay. Yeah, <laughs> what about you? Get on the trampoline. <laughs> Daddy's getting. Oh no! <laughs> Do you have a pocket? I want to lie. Well, it is time to prepare the garden again for planting some seeds. So. We are going to be scooping up our rabbit manure from uh, the, the past year. There's not really very much of it because the chickens have been uh, scratching at it and digging in it and spreading it all over the place. So there's not much, but we're going to take what we have and put it on the garden and then we will till it in once we have some there on the garden for our plants. Tell be people about Jesus in videos. Oh, that's a good idea. Should I do that? Sure. Hi. Do you know about Jesus or not? Put a thumbs up if you know about Jesus. Put a thumbs down if you don't. Not you, Opal. Jesus, he made the whole world. And you go to church. If you don't know where church is, like say, do you know about Jesus? They'll follow you to church. If they do, if they don't, they won't know about Jesus. So I'll tell you all about it. And this is how it works. If you're going to die, 
without learning about Jesus, then you'll probably go to hell. Hell is a bad, bad place. It's really bad. So hell is where you turn into fire and you'll probably fight some people and very bad. Heaven is a very good place because that's where God is. Yep, that's where God is. God is in heaven, so you probably want to go to heaven. We're still talking about Jesus. So, he died on the cross for our sins because we sinned. Sinned means that you did a bad thing. Like the bad things are when you get spanked, yeah, that's the thing. Like when you don't clean up your toys or that's disobeying too. The snake is named Mom, what is the snake named? Satan is a very bad one. He is really a bad one because he tells lies. Uh, what was Satan? He was an angel. He was an angel, but then he didn't want to be an angel. He wanted to be God. It's the truth that God made Adam and Eve were the first people. Them first, and then he made the whole world. He made chickens, ducks, and bunnies, and tigers, lions, and reindeers, grass, trees, land, water, darkness, stars. So this is how. It was all ocean. It was all water. It was all sea. And when the sea came, there was nothing. So God was still there. No stars, no moon. There was nothing. Nothing. There was nothing. So that's the problem. There was nothing. And then God spoke. But when he made people, he didn't smoke. He had some dirt and he made, he made a people out of dirt and he blowed it. He blowed it and then there came a people. It was named Eve. I mean, Adam. 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 I can't remember. Eve or Adam. Adam came first. Adam came first, and then we came when we were not born yet. So I'll see you soon, and check up for loving Jesus. And if you don't know about Jesus again, put thumbs down, because I'm a good talker. Goodbye, guys. Well, as you can see, I'm going to need a fence because <laughs> the chickens are just enjoying finding all the little bugs and things in the garden, which I would be fine with if they only ate the bugs. The problem is they're going to be eating all of the fruit or vegetables and digging up any seeds that I plant in there. So. Matt did a great job tilling it up all, tilling, Matt did a great job tilling up the garden for me. But now I need to put a fence around it to keep out our chickies and any deer or rabbits or other small critters trying to get in here. So. You can have the garden for a little bit longer, chickens. And I'm gonna fence it in. I have some uh, electric poultry netting that I'm gonna see how much of the garden it will cover. I can't remember how long the uh, netting is. So it might fit around the garden. 
but I also, it might not. So I'm gonna test it, see if it'll fit. If it will, great. And if not, I'll have to come up with another idea. It's just like, I don't know, maybe a five, maybe six foot gap, six or seven foot gap here. So I think instead of uh, trying to find a different solution for all the way around, I think what I'm going to do is try and find something that I could just make a little gate right here with. And then um, this could be my entrance and exit point as well uh, to get in and out of the garden so I think this will work well hopefully um, at this point I'm not planning on electrifying it but if some chickens start getting in or other critters start getting in then I do have a solar battery that I can hook up to it and um, electrify it at least maybe during, uh, maybe at night, and hopefully that helps. Um, you know, I just don't wanna electrocute my children. So we'll see, we'll test this out and see how it goes, and if it doesn't work, we'll try something different. So for now, um, I'm gonna go find my husband and see if he has any ideas for me. For this gap, I know we have some chicken wire in the barn, so we might be able to come up with a little chicken wire gate solution. So, um, yeah, we'll go talk it out, and then I will keep you posted on the results. Well, my super smart man brought his measuring tape and measured, and we found a gate. So we found a gate that fits perfectly. I just need to cover it with chicken wire and then we think we can probably just put a T-post in that corner behind Ivy and I'll still be able to open it a little bit to get in and out if I need to. All right. <laughs> the kids are outside flying a kite and I am in the barn and I'm going to measure out some chicken wire to put on that gate. And I think I'm just gonna zip tie it on there Hopefully that'll work. So let's see how this goes. Well, I've gotten the gate covered enough. The top section is not covered, but hopefully um, just having, having that four feet covered will deter the chickens enough and the smaller animals. So I think we'll be good with that. But as you can hear, maybe it has begun to rain. So we will have to leave hanging the gate for another day. I also only have one zip tie left. So we, we will either have to buy more zip ties to hang the gate or Matt had some rope that he thought might work. So we might try that, but we'll probably do that on another day when it's not raining. Chickens are taking shelter from the rain. Got some more hiding out over there. I like the rain chickies. They're out there enjoying the rain. Good job, Bully. You did it. You laid an egg. 